Hey, this is Kathleen again from MoldRoadFarmhouse.com and I'm going to show you how to seal your chalk painted furniture with a coat of clear wax. This is chalk paint wax in clear uh, by Annie Sloan and I have a round wax brush from Waxwell that I'm using, got years ago. Um, if you do not have a round wax brush, you can use an old rag. Um, and that works fine. The wax brush just helps it go a little faster. You, I'll link to some places to find wax brushes. Annie now makes her own wax brushes, which she didn't back in the day when I got this one. You can also get them at Walmart, Waverly has some, and other places. Waxing, when I first started, I tended to way overdo the wax. Um, the, the key to wax is thin coats, and the bad news is, in my opinion, two coats or three coats are better than one. And it's bad news because it is a little tedious, but the brush helps it go fast. And it, it seals your piece and it gives it a beautiful patina, especially after you rub it and buff it when you're done. Um, so I just barely touch my brush into the wax, get some on there, and then just go and rub it in, kind of like I am rubbing hand lotion into my hands and you want it to absorb to that point. You don't want it to be really greasy because um, if you lay it on real thick and you think, oh, it's just gonna dry or something, uh-uh, it doesn't really work that way. You just wanna put on the thinnest of coats and really work it into the paint with your brush. And then you're gonna wanna let it dry overnight at least. So we're talking like, I would say 12 to 24 hours depending on kind of weather and humidity where you are. 12 to 24 hours in between wax coats and if you have the patience to put on two or three it'll really go much better towards um, the sturdiness and durability of your paint job as well as there is this in my opinion this ineffable uh, charm that comes from the patina of a hand rubbed painted piece of furniture so as you can see I'm just I'm not being shy about really pushing it into the paint 